All right, let me tell you about this disaster going on back here. So first, uh, my Whirlpool refrigerator was leaking water on the bottom. And in doing research, the most common problem is a uh, drain issue right here. Uh, this like little P-trap in the back here. Uh, that gets clogged or frozen up and then uh, ice builds up in the freezer and leaks out. So that's the most common problem. Uh, I diagnosed that, cleaned it out. Mine did have some debris in it, but that was not the issue. Next, I went out and got a uh, valve, inlet valve, because I thought that was a problem. Turns out that was not the problem. What was actually happening is that uh, there's this hose that runs from the filter up uh, at the top of the fridge uh, to the water inlet valve. It has a uh, fitting on, on the end of it that goes then into the water inlet valve, okay? So this part is the hose that I cut off and this part gets inserted into the compression fitting here. And it was leaking right there. And the reason it was leaking, the reason I had to cut that off is look at that crack. This fitting just cracked on both sides. And it was leaking, shooting right out of there. And I didn't realize that. So actually I went out and got a whole new inlet valve, totally unnecessary, 70 bucks on that. Uh, this hose then is about 40 bucks from the Whirlpool. And uh, you know, it's a custom part, so you're either opening up the inside of the fridge or you have to you know, get an appliance repairman, a couple hundred bucks to, to do it for you in addition to the part cost. What I came up with instead is I cut the fitting off as you saw, just cut that off. I went to Home Depot and I got a 516 coupler and then I got a length of 516 hose. So all I'm gonna do is add a coupler, add a length of hose and then instead of using the fitting I'll just take my new hose and plug it right into the valve and I should be ready to go. Now, of course, things are not as always easy as they should be. So the other thing I found out while doing this is that my valve to the house is seized up in the open position. So have very hard water and the valve is just stuck open, will not close. So that's about a $600 job from a plumber, opening up the wall, uh, sweating in a new valve, box, whatever they gotta do. So to solve that problem, I went to Home Depot Got a 12 inch length of hose, and then I got a little needle valve for that. So now I could uh, essentially move my valve from this location to the end of the hose here. And then uh, all I do is I'll take my refrigerator line, put that on here, and I'm good as new. That's my solution to this problem. So about, uh, I don't know, uh, $12, $13 solution here, and then about a $8 solution on this side, and uh, we should be ready to go. Let me put all this together, and I'll circle back with you. Okay, here's the compression fitting that's been put on the hose from the refrigerator, from the filter down to the inlet valve. So now let me cut a length of the new hose that I bought and connect the inlet valve to the filter. Okay, here's a little U shape of the 516 line that I cut. Don't need much because the inlet valve is right down in this corner and that's where the hose leads to. Just not quite enough there to go directly into the inlet valve. So I had to improvise here. One thing to note is you want to make sure that the, if I get it, that to focus, you want to cut these lines very square Mm. doesn't quite want to focus but you get the idea you want to be very square if it's crooked it's not going to go all the way into the compression fitting you're not going to get as much in there as you should so just cut that square all right all you do is just insert that line in there until it, you can't go anymore and that's it it's stuck in there very cool fittings so there you go now all i have to do is connect this to the valve and mount the valve okay now we inserted the tubing into the valve. 
I'll go ahead and mount the valve now. Uh, to mount the valve, first you gotta put this plug on those two spades right there. And then it just screws in with two screws. Okay, here's the inlet valve. The hose going to the house, and here's the hose coming in to the, from the filter and the refrigerator up top. And then here's the line that I just inserted from the fill valve to the filter. It's gonna live right there. Okay, I've connected the fridge supply line to my outlet here with the valve. Put a little loop in there. So now's the moment of truth. We'll open the needle valve. And check for leaks. Okay, nothing on this end. Nothing on this end. Okay, so the next step is we'll plug the fridge in and we'll try to get the water to come out from the water dispenser. So here we go. Okay, go ahead and start the water. Checking for leaks here. All of that was about 20 bucks, maybe even a little bit less. So you're talking about the $600 repair on this side and probably two, $300 repair on this side taken care of for 20 bucks. Hope you enjoy this tip and uh, let me know if it works for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.